Hi, I'm Leanne from the Dollmaker's Caddy Wampus in Old Town Monrovia. We're going to be making a paper sock monkey today. You can see a little sample we've done up. And we'll start off by taking the body, getting some double stick tape, put it on the sides here. Three small pieces. Go ahead and put it around like a tube of toilet paper. Okay, then you get an old bag, recyclable bag. Stuff the bag inside the tube before you push it all the way up fold down the top on the two sides like this like a present put a piece of double stick tape on the top like this fold don't worry if it's perfect or not right off the bat. Just want to get it started. Push the paper up a little further. I need a little bit more tape. Don't be shy with the tape. There you go. Push the rest of the bag up inside the tube go ahead and stuff it as tight as you can you're going to use a whole bag cut up into three pieces is what I've done and then at the bottom do the same thing you did at the top fold and tape like a present Use extra tape for the bottom. Okay, now you have your tube. Then you take a strip like this, and you're going to use the white side of this. One piece of tape on the white side. And you're making the top like this part here. You're going to put a piece of tape over the monkey's head. Just on the top here like so. Put the tube over the monkey's head. And then fold again. This side you want to make a little bit neater. Get a piece of tape. Double stick tape is what we're using. And then fold like a present. Again, use extra tape if you need to. There we go. Okay, now you can see the beginnings of the monkey there. Now we've got his legs cut out here. Take a piece of tape on the bottom. Put it across like so. You decide you want the seam to be in the back of the monkey and flat on the bottom so his legs will go like so. Line them up so they're the same length. 
add another piece of tape real quick to give them extra security and then kind of curl the paper around like so with your fingers you could see that helps them sit a little bit and then for the arms take two pieces like this put a piece of tape on them like this and then on the back where the seam is just put it down like that curl the arms again with your paper I mean with your fingers <laughs> add a little piece of tape in the back just for extra security okay and then in your kit you'll have cut out um, hands out of these hands and feet Oops. you put a piece of tape on each end tape is easier to use than glue because it's not as messy I like to fold it over and make it a little thicker Now you put it like so on the ends of the arms so that you got hands. Take your second one, do the same. Put it like so. And then uh, kids will want to supervision with their parents. You just cut off the excess of the arms so the hands are nice and even. Cut here real quick. And then you do the same with the feet. Get another piece of tape. And then you put on the bottom of the feet, you do the same thing you did with the hands. You just add it to the bottom. Like so. Make sure they're even. There you go. And then again, with supervision from your parents, you'll just uh, cut off the excess. And now you can see we've got the whole, whoops, you don't drop it. <laughs> you got the whole body and arms all made up. And now the fun part comes. So you take the mouth that's already cut out for you and you um, add several pieces of tape to the mouth from end to end because you want to make sure it wraps around like this monkey here. You want to make sure it wraps around. So don't be sh don't be shy with the tape on this one. Okay, and you can see, you can just put it right across the monkey's front of his face. You can see it takes up almost the whole face there. Oops. I have two pieces here, so I'm going to add a piece of extra tape. There we go. Press down. Now we are going to add the top of the monkey's hair. I've, uh, you have a fold piece here that you'll want to fold over. On the fold is where you'll add the tape. Oops. 
Oops, there we go. It's okay to double over that tape. It helps make it a little more secure. Put it on the top of the head, like so. And then go ahead and fold over. And you can see, now we have the monkey hair. Okay, now we're putting on the monkey's face. So we get to the fun part of making the monkey, where you add all the details. So add two dots for the eyes. And then add two dots right under the eyes for the nose. Now you see his mouth is missing. We have red paper for the mouth. And this, we're going to use glue. So get out your glue. A glue stick will work fine. This is um, Elmer's Tacky Glue. And you're going to add the mouth right across the middle here. And you could see him, the sock monkey, the paper sock monkey, starting to come together. Now, you'll notice throughout the process we've used double stick tape. You can use uh, glue sticks as well. That works just as well. And regular tape, if you need regular tape for the tops, you can use regular tape. Okay, so some of the fun things that will come with the kit will be little buttons. And these buttons happen to have a, a, a point to the bottom. You can just stick it right into the belly. Now, I like to add a little bit of glue for security behind the button. Go ahead and push it all the way down. And you'll get three of them with the kit. Push it all the way down. And I'm only, oops, my little bead came off, so I'm going to glue it back on. There we go. And when that dries a little bit, I'll push it a little bit more down. Now you see, we need ears. Monkey ears are the best part of the monkey, in my opinion. You'll have two pieces of ears that'll look like this. What you do is you fold the bottom like so. And you go ahead and press down. And then take regular tape or your glue stick, put it on the back, and to the side of the monkey's head, you're going to press it down like so, and then press down like this. And you'll see the monkey's ears attached to the monkey's head. And I'm going to add the other side really quick. Fold the bottom. Just the bottom. So you add dimension to the monkey's ear. The tape. And then tape to the side of the head. And fold back and forward. And I think I got my monkey's ears a little crooked, but monkeys can be any way you want. So if you want them crooked, you can have them crooked. And I think he looks cute that way.